Hello everyone, uh, so your local writer boy has decided to become the keyboard guy of this channel. So from this month onwards, we are starting a monthly keyboard video where I will be building a new board and share with you what sort of parts I've used, what sort of problems I run into and how do I fix them. And in addition to the things that I don't like or, or I like about the process. So for the keyboard, we will be using the um, CIY Gas 67 because this is one of the hottest and most affordable gasket mount keyboards in the market right now. And I like to have a 65% layout for gaming. So let's see what's inside the box. Okay, so the first thing you see will be the stabilizer sets. So these are the housing and the stem and the wires itself. And I like that they come out of the box dry so you can loop them to your likings afterwards. Okay, so for the accessories, we got keycap and switch puller, a screwdriver, that's nice, and a coil cable, and it's lightly braided and comes with the color that you purchase the keyboard with. And the uh, this is the PCB, so they decided to split the PCB and the case itself. And we have a box of other things like the uh, gasket strips, step pads, screws, and everything else. So this is the uh, Gas 67 casing, and the color I selected is the uh, transparent purple. So would I call it an actually purple? Not really, I would mm, assume it as a blue and purple mix. But anyway, so this has a um, polycarbonate plate and they have a layer of switch pad underneath so you can use it or not use it depending on what sort of sound profile you are going to so moving on to the switch we will be using the mmd cream v3 these are the uh, linear switch and it comes with a full palm build so the stem the top housing and the bottom housing is all made out of palm so you can achieve a deeper and fuller sound pitch and also they come loop and film out of the box because that's what I purchased from the Shopee seller himself. So the MMD cream is actually positioned as one of the uh, more budget options compared to the renowned Novo Key cream switch so they have they will need less time to break in and also they are much cheaper than the original cream switch and they have um, 35 grams of actuation force and 45 grams of bottom out force. So finally for the keycaps, I picked the um, IFA white on black to give the uh, transparent purple a little bit of pop alongside the red and the keys. These are cherry ABS double shot keycaps, so the sound profile will be a little bit higher than your standard PBT keycaps. So let's see what kind of sound will the bot end up producing. So let's start our build, shall we? To open up. So PC plate take out, plate foam take out, switch pad take out. So we housing a bit more, so I skip leaving the stem stem wall. But anyway, do everything quicker. Okay. No wonder no washer needed. Also, I'm skipping the middle gaskets uh, to achieve more flex. In everything stock. Uh.
So with everything done, the total cost of this board is around 400 ringgit if you buy everything new off the market and it definitely can get go to a lower price if you can get some of the uh, second hand parts like the key keycaps or if you want to go for another more budget switches you can definitely keep it to around 350 so overall the ciy gas 67 is quite an amazing board actually so in terms of the experience it provides to one starting in the custom mechanical keyboard hobby and the things i like the most is they provide the uh, step pads for you to dampen the step wires and also the stop experience of the steps requires literally just loop and no modding anything else if you want to buy some other third party screw in steps that's also up to you but there's an additional cost for that and the colorway of the transparent purple reminds me of my personal favorites which is the atomic purple color of the game boy color which is a bit of a nostalgia extra points and the form factor of the 65 percent also makes it very compact enough for me to game with ample space around my setup but that is also one of its cons because as an editor i need the f row to access the rename function with f2 or i need to spam refresh with f5 so in the end if you want to keep things compact while trying out a gasket mounted keyboard with the brinking or bang and if you have no hesitation when it comes to ditching the afro straight away the CIY gas 67 checks a lot of the boxes at a great price no wonder it sells like hotcakes so with everything done let's take a listen at the stock experience of this keyboard So during the building process, I find the placement of the switch is actually a bit hectic due to uh, its tighter feet and because I opt for not using the middle gasket to allow the alphas to bounce a bit more, so the fitting of the switch is actually just a little bit not enough but if you type heavy enough then it should not be a problem. And the funny thing is, the switch over here is actually not a power switch because it's actually using USB Type-C to power on. So the switch here is actually dictating what the function key is going to do. And according to the manual, the toggle switch is actually when it's dialed down, it's left wing key function. And when it's dialed up, it will become the left FN key. So a pretty interesting design idea, but you have to be aware of this. And another thing that I like about is the instruction manual is actually very very detailed and it tells you all the things you need to build the, build the keyboard as in the gasket strip placements, the connector, the connection of the daughter board and among other things that what kind of screws that you're going to use for your stabilizers and the casing itself. Okay so that's all for this month's monthly keyboard build and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.